Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. On today's episode of Kicking It with Miss Kita, I am giving you a snippet of my daily, part of my daily routine. This is just me showing what I do on a regular basis when I'm going out and about. I am now the full-time caretaker, caregiver for my mom who is wheelchair bound. And so whenever we go out, I have to do this. I am showing you that you can put a power chair in the back of a large SUV. And if you are here only for the demonstration, then go ahead and click that like button, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and then you can mute it if you don't want to hear me talking because I'm just going to be chit-chatting. If you are here for the chit-chat, hey girl, hey. All right, so basically, um, since I, I chose to take on this responsibility, I, with grown children, did not want to have to be a soccer mom and have a minivan. So I chose a different route. So I have a larger SUV. It's a um, Infiniti JX uh, 35. And so she, my mom is in a power chair. I took the measurements of the power chair. And then when I was searching for SUV, I just looked for SUV that had th that met those requirements. Um, as I do this on a regular basis, I am realizing, girl, <laughs> you should have been in a minivan because the struggle is real. It's not real hard. I'm used to it now. It takes all of about five minutes in putting it in and five minutes taking it out. So it's really nothing, but it is a process. Um, the power chair that she has does have the controller on the front. So I do have to take that off every time I'm putting it in and put it back on when I'm taking it out. But that's not a problem. Um, with the seat down, it does fit um, just right going into the back of that SUV. Now, if you're going to do this, you want to make sure that you do measurements before you try this. Don't try this at home, baby, with that little bitty SUV, that little Lexus, that little... Um, Honda uh, V or whatever they're called, but if you have a larger one, you got this. Um, I'm not complaining, but you can see you can see that struggle, right? You saw that struggle. I look at, I make it look flawless. It's okay though. So yeah, um, I do do this maybe three times a week. Um, going to the store, going to doctor's appointments, just going to dinner, anything to get outside, just to show that. Um, she's not limited on just being in the house just because you're in a wheelchair and not limited just because the person taking care of you does not want to be in a minivan. So you could do this without a minivan. <laughs> this little mat that I have in the back, I got that from, I was in the apartment and the people that, uh, at the apartment, the maintenance people, they were redoing a, um, apartment. Someone had just moved and so they were putting the floor down you know that vinyl floor and I asked him can I have some shoot and I'll shame in my game give me some of that so I'm just you saw you saw the struggle I put it in I'll be right back so I can take it out and this is our day now if you are trying this the ramp that I got um I believe it was from I got it on offer up um I knew that I needed a longer ramp and I wanted the one that folded um, to make sure that it was long enough to go from the truck to the um, ground. So check offer up for those deals. You ain't got to pay full price for nothing because that ramp was like four, five hundred dollars, and ain't nobody paying that. Girl, mm, yeah. So anyhow, enough of your chat. What what brings you to my channel today? If you're still here listening to me ramble for no reason, hey, thanks for listening. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can see more videos because I'm trying to be consistent now and I'm going to try to get videos out. They are random because my life is random. So <laughs> if you're here for all my randomness, thank you. If you are not here for it, you can still like me. It's okay. I'm okay with that. A random like here and there, I'm cool with that anyhow what is going on in you all's life are you a caretaker do you have to deal with a power chair or a wheelchair or trying to figure out how to get something in and out of the car it's many options i also have a transport chair it's small it's compact it folds up to like the back of it and the arms they fold down and they flip over and all of that and i can fit it inside the truck a uh, trunk 
of a car. The only problem with that was that um, it was manual. So I had to literally push her around. So the bad thing about that is if you push someone around and you're in a store, you can't push a shopping cart and a wheelchair. I got skills, but not like that. Anyhow, this is the end of the video. If you like what you saw, again, don't forget to like. Send me a comment. I'm not looking for anybody to tell me, um, you know, praises or anything like that. I'm just sharing a little bit of my day. I'm trying to learn how to be a little transparent with my channel because before I wasn't sharing anything. So, thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now.